So, today, we're going to be snapping half of the Smash Ultimate roster. And, because Sakurai has said that the next Smash game won't ha do the everyone is here thing again. So, I don't really know if they're going to do the everyone th is here thing again. So... I think it would be a pretty fun thought experiment to get rid of ha if the next Smash game had only half of the fighters. I think that it would be an interesting thought experiment to decide which ones get the axe and which ones do not. So that's what we're doing today. Counting Pokemon Fighter as one, Pokemon Trainer as one, and including Echo Fighters is 86 divided by 2 is 43 all right so let's start with the ones that we know are safe so uh so here's what i think so everyone in all of the videos i've seen on this topic people have been like oh the original 12s they've been here the whole time all of them need to say but Jigglypuff was almost cut from Brawl, and I think they almost didn't make Smash 4, and they really aren't that iconic of a Pokemon. Even in the Smash Bros. sphere, they really just aren't that iconic. So, honestly, I think Jigglypuff might be the first to go. I'll come back to her later, but she's on the chopping block, let's say. Uh, let's start by, but these 11 Mario through Captain Falcon are definitely staying. Peach is also definitely staying. And so is Bowser. Zelda and Sheik will get to. The, Zelda is definitely saying, staying Sheik will get to because I have an opinion on Sheik. But Zelda is definitely staying. Uh, Marth is also definitely staying. He's like the Fire Emblem guy. He's like... He's become a household name just through Smash Bros. alone. He's been in the game since Melee. It'd feel wrong to not include him. Ganondorf is also staying. Mewtwo, I'm not sure yet. Mr. Game & Watch, I'm also not sure yet. Uh, another two that we can add to definitely staying are Meta Knight and DDD. I think those guys are also staying. Pit, I mean, Pit isn't really that ho much of a household name, and it's been over a decade since the last... Uh, Kid Icarus game, but it's Sakurai's baby. I, if Sakurai doesn't know, if Sakurai is directing the game, I think Pit's absolutely going to be in it. So that's why I'm including Pit. Uh, Wario, I'm not sure on. I'd love to include Wario and Falco as well, but. I'm not sure on these two, so we're gonna have to put them on the chopping block. Pokemon Trainer is definitely staying. I mean, it's the three starter Pokemon. It has fucking Charizard. If there's any character, if there's any Pokemon character that would be staying, it's them. Sonic, DDD, Olimar, all three of them are definitely staying. Pikmin is a big franchise for Miyamoto in particular. And with Pikmin 4, it's really become a big name. Have you seen the sales of that fucking game? And then Sonic, of course, is Sonic the goddamn hedgehog. Like, if unless they're going back to only Nintendo characters, Sonic has to stay in. And I don't see how they go back to only Nintendo characters after Ultimate. Uh, now, Villager. This is the next interesting one, because I think Villager would be an interesting pick, but Isabel is also in the game, and I feel like Isabel has kind of become more of a mascot for 
Animal Crossing than the villager is because the villager is and this villager is specifically based on New Leaf which isn't even the most recent game in the series so villager is gone Mega Man I'm not sure on Mega Man because he isn't that relevant anymore but he's like got iconic value so I'm not sure if he's if, he, if he's gonna stay or not we're gonna put Mega Man on the chopping block. Wii Fit Trainer's gone. Rosalina, I'm not sure on. I mean, she's a popular Mario character, but everyone loves her, but I'm not sure. Little Mac, again, also not sure. I'd love to have him because I want to include as many franchises as possible, but no one, let's be honest, no one plays Little Mac. Greninja? Greninja's definitely staying, because, uh, X and Y was the first 3D Pokemon games, it ushered the series into a new era, and Greninja is the most popular Pokemon, it got voted on a long time ago, a, a few years ago I heard that, so yeah, Greninja's staying, Pac-Man is staying, obviously, like, he is the retro rep. Even your grandma knows who Pac-Man is. Robin! Now, here's my opinion. I think Robin should stay, because I think there should be at least one Awakening rep. Because the thing with Fire Emblem is, before Awakening, the franchise was about to die. Awakening kind of saved the franchise. So, if any Fire Emblem characters are going to be in the game, I think it's going to be an Awakening character. Shulk absolutely is staying. I mean, Xenoblade has become a big name for Nintendo on the Switch. So, and Monolith Soft has been carrying Nintendo's everything, so... Shulk is absolutely saying. Uh, Ryu is absolutely staying. I mean, it's Ryu from Street Fighter. It's basically the granddaddy of fighting games, and Smash Bros. is a fighting game. So, I think Ryu should stay. Uh, Ken, however, I'm not sure. Because Ken is a unique Echo Fighter where he's different enough from Ryu, but not enough. And I don't think, if we're getting rid of half the cast, I don't think characters that share so many similarities should stay. Cloud? Cloud is absolutely saying. Uh, Final Fantasy VII is one of the most iconic video games of all time. Uh, Inkling is absolutely saying. Splatoon is kind of just like the, like, Nintendo's newest big IP. Like, it's it rivals Mario and Zelda, which ha with how big it is. Maybe not as Mario and Zelda, but like in terms of how much Nintendo focuses on it. Ridley, I think Ridley should say should stay. Oh, Dark Samus is not staying. What am I doing? I accidentally circled Dark Samus. I just noticed. I just lumped her in because I totally forgot she was even a character. But Ridley, I think Ridley should stay. I mean, Metroid is a pretty sizable franchise for Nintendo, and I think they should have at least two to two characters. And of any character on the roster, it has to be Ridley. Simon? I mean, Castlevania is pretty popular. I'm not sure. I'll put Simon on the chopping block for now, but he'll be one of the first to rejoin. Incineroar? Probably not. I think they'd rather just, like, take him out and replace him with, like, a Gen 9 Pokemon. So, Incineroar's no. Pronoplate, no. Joker! Oh, Joker! I really want him to stay. I really want Joker to stay, but it's not happening, because, uh, honestly, it depends on if Persona 6 is out by the time Joker's in the game, because 
by the time Smash comes out, because if Persona 6 comes out before the next Smash game, then Joker will be replaced by the new protagonist, but if not, I think it'll stay Joker. So, also, I really like Joker, so I'm gonna keep him. He's the, he's the one personal pick. Hero, I cannot understate how much Hero is means to like the the RPG genre. B Bro basically founded the RPG genre. So Hero is absolutely a lock. Uh Byleth, I think Byleth is also saying I think Fire Emblem having three characters is a pretty good amount for it without feeling bloated like the eight it has now. Steve absolutely. Steve is absolutely staying. I mean, Minecraft is the biggest game of all time. Come on. Pyramithra. I'm gonna put them on the chopping block too. I mean, I'd love to have them, but I'm not sure. And I'm counting them as one character. And then Kazuya and Sora. I think both of them should stay as well. I know people hate Kazuya, but he Tekken is the other big FGC thing. And if we're getting rid of Terry, which I think we might have to do, uh, I think there should be at least one besides Ryu. And Sora is like the most popular, the, the, one of the most requested picks. He was the most requested for the Smash ballot. So I think he should stay. Mies, I think there should be at least one me type. So, and I'm gonna pick Brawler, but there might be some we remove we remove in the future. But I think the other two aren't really needed, and me brawler just kinda can kinda carry the me category on his own. Alright, now let's go on to easy removals. Easy removals are all the Echoes, so Dark Samus, Lucina is gonna go, Young Link I'm not sure on. Having a franchise like Zelda only have three reps seems like weird to me. I think both of them should go. Snake I'm not sure on, Metal Gear just isn't a game you hear much of anymore, but I'm not sure on him, so we're, we'll Keep him for now. Uh, Ike is gonna go... Again, love Fire Emblem, but I don't think they really need more than three characters. And the, I think both for the classics, Robin since he saved uh, Fire Emblem, and Byleth because uh, Three Houses is the best-selling game in the series. Uh, Lucas is gone. Mother 3 is a great game, but it's never coming out in America, and even though this game is a Jap Japanese game, I think Lucas is gonna go bye-bye. Rob kinda saved the video game industry, but I don't think he's relevant anymore. Oh, uh, Wii Fit is gone, absolutely. Banjo, I know he, I know he was highly requested, but Let's be honest, Banjo isn't relevant, so I think he should go, even though he was highly requested. I think it's his time to be retired. Min Min, I mean, I'd love to have an ARMS rep in the game. I had fun with ARMS, but let's be honest, ARMS is never getting a sequel. It's never going to see the light of day again. Min Min is, he is 20. So we still need to remove 20 fighters. Alright, I think the first few to go are going to be ones from franchises that already have characters. So, I'm talking Palutena. I'm talking K. Rule and Sephiroth. Sorry, Se they're both iconic villains. Sephiroth way more so, but I think the amount of characters each franchise has is enough. Uh, Rosalina, sorry, I love her, but she's gotta go. I hate to do this, but she has to go. Same with Bowser Jr.
All right, 12 left. We need to start taking characters off the chopping block. Uh, Ice Climbers, they have a really unique gameplay style, but I don't think that's enough to save them from getting the axe. I think the first to take the fall has got to be Jigglypuff. Like, she almost didn't make it into Brawl. I don't think she's going to be in the game. Next is Sheik. If they... If they bundle Sheik in with, uh, with Zelda, maybe, but if they count as separate fighters, then Sheik is also going. Okay. Snake, I think, should go. He was gone from Brawl. He was gone after Brawl, I mean, and he really isn't that iconic to video games as a whole. Metal Gear is a great franchise, and, like, for first for shooter games, he's iconic, but I don't think he's gonna be making it. Same for Bayonetta. I feel like Nintendo and Platinum have a really strong relationship, but Bayonetta just isn't that iconic, as iconic as other characters. And if any third party are gonna go, it's probably gonna be those two. Ooh, I hate to do it, but Little Max gotta go too. How many reps does Pokemon have? One, two, three. Three. I feel like Mewtwo is really popular, and I'd really like to keep him. Pokemon is Nintendo's second biggest series after Mario. It's the most selling, so I think Pokemon, if any series deserves four reps, it's Pokemon. I think Terry is gonna go. I know he's super popular in South America, but Terry just isn't as iconic as Kazuya or Ryu, and we already have two FGC characters in the game. I hate to do it, but Falco's gotta go. I know he's an iconic character, but he's gotta go. And same with Mewtwo. He's one of the most iconic Pokemon ever, but when we're cutting it this thin, I think we have to make some losses, and Mewtwo's already been removed before from Brawl and, Brawl and Smash 4 pre-DLC. So, I think Mewtwo has to go. Alright, we really only need one retro Nintendo rep, and if it's between Game & Watch and Duck Hunt, I think it should be Duck Hunt. Duck Hunt was bundled in with Mario. I'm honestly, honestly shocked it took them so long to put him in the game already, already, to put him in Smash already, but I think Game & Watch has got to go. I think either Diddy Kong or Wario has to go as well, but which one? I feel Wario is more iconic than Diddy is, so... Oh, we come down to the wire here. Oh, I hate to do it. I think we get rid of Pyramithra, because... Even though they're, even though Xenoblade is a big juggernaut franchise for Nintendo at this point, I think we get rid of Pyramithra because they don't even appear in Xenoblade 3. At least Shulk, I mean in physical form at least, at least Shulk appears in physical form in all three games. Pyramithra don't appear in physical form except for in that one picture in Xenoblade 3. So, I think we ax give Pyramithra the axe. I think it's gotta be Simon, dude. Simon is the le is the the biggest hit we can take to this roster. Konami already has a rep with, uh, with, with Kazuya. So, I think Simon can go. And Atlas does not have a rep, so I really think Joker should say. Unless there's a Persona 6 protagonist. If there's a Persona 6 protagonist, then replace him with that. But if not, then I think it's going to be Simon who has to go. And that is it. That is the roster. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider subscribing and tell me how I'm wrong and stupid in the comments below. Uh, blow me up on Twitter. Tell me, tell me that I'm wrong and dumb for cutting your favorite character. Alright, bye!